welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another hair video. I'm going to be popping in my hair extensions again and basically showing you some different styles that you can do if you have clip-in hair extensions because I know they can be difficult to hide or just like ideas to do stuff with really. That's what I'm kind of going to get in into this video. So I hope you enjoy. Please excuse my hair right now. We're about to sort that out. I've also got some like new products and stuff to show you what I've been using on my hair. Well, one product. I don't know why I say loads. But yeah, I'm just going to get into this video. Please bear with me on all these angles. I am like need to like proper concentrate when I do my hair because I don't want to mess up or make it look bad. So if you didn't know, I use the Beauty Works hair extensions, like the clip-ins. These are the 22 inch double hair set. And I haven't, these are like the second time I'm, I'm going to be clipping them in my hair, if I'm being honest. Because obviously we're in lockdown at the moment and I haven't had the chance to wear them out. I'm just not going to really wear them around the house, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be like teaching myself at the t same time as showing you. So here's all the hair. This is in the shade Brasilia, if you're wondering. But yeah, I literally, it's sort of got a little bit of a curl to it because I curled them last time. And they've obviously <laughs> dropped out majorly. So the first style I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do like a big ponytail but like obviously all up, like, like sort of like an Ariana Grande ponytail sort of vibe. Not sure how I'm going to clip them in yet, we're about to find out. A recent purchase that I have bought is this Molly Mae Beauty Works ball bristle, ball bristle brush, I'm not even sure what it's called. But anyway, like the bristles on it, sorry it has hair in it. The bristles on it are really soft and like I have I only use tangle teasers normally but this is like on another level like it proper scrapes back all your flyaways like better than tangle teasers do and obviously these are really good for hair extensions as well they do other brushes on there as well so you can check them out like bigger ones I think but yeah this, I'm really impressed with this brush like it's very good you need to try it if you haven't already so i'm taking a pick tooth comb and i'm going to just i'm going to do that fringe that i always do so that's pretty straight and then i'm going to section off my hair like to my ear if you can see what i'm doing i'm not very good at explaining myself i really recommend getting these little section clips i got them off amazon i got like 20 for about five pound or something and they're just like really like sturdy and just keep everything in place also i have no idea if this is going to work so this could be a complete fail okay so i've just sectioned the top of my hair like to the back because i'm going to put the ponytail there you'll see what i'm doing in a second please bear with me if you can see what i'm doing i'm just about to do a little ponytail in the back of my hair like so, if you can see that. And then I'm gonna grab some hair extensions. So I'm just gonna grab a free, ple a free piece clip in extensions. And I'm just gonna click the middle one, just above the ponytail. Then I'm literally just gonna clip around it, if that makes any sense to you, probably doesn't. But that's how I'm gonna do it. Then I'm going to take some of this bit of hair and then pop some of it back, a small section. I'm going to take another free piece. To be fair, I probably should back comb it, but hopefully it will be fine. Now I'm going to flip my hair forwards and take a four piece. And literally, wait, what am I doing? I'm going to clip it under my ponytail. Now I'm just taking out that bun at the bot at the top that we did. I'm just going to brush all my hair backwards. Now let's pray that this works. <laughs> okay, so that kind of actually has worked, but I just need to blend my hair so you can't tell that the heck extensions. Oh, I kind of a lot. Oh, I don't know. So I'm just going to go off camera now and curl my hair and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so I probably haven't done the best job at like blending and curling the hair, but you get the gist of it. 
I could probably have curled my extensions before and my hair before, that might have been a bit easier. I'm still learning, okay? <laughs> but um, this is what it looks like, if you can see. I know it's, my hair's quite dark, but hopefully that looks like it has blended all together and it looks like my actual hair, hopefully. So I recently found out this new hair product that actually my friend Chloe told me about. Literally the next day I ordered it, as soon as she ordered it, because Sophia and Chintzia use it and I didn't realise that they use this specific thing and their hair always looks like really sleek if you've ever seen their hair, I don't know. But this is literally their secret, what they use. It's the OA Hair Care Matte Pomade. So I've already used a little bit. It's like this consistency and it honestly, I, I love the smell, I don't know why. I can't even describe what it smells like, but it smells really good. Well, I think it does anyway. But this just will like make your hair look more sleek and shiny, but also it won't make it look greasy. It'll make it look really like snatched, if you will. Like I've got so many flyaways. I'm not sure if it is picking up on camera. I'm sure it is, but they're about to go. So all you need is literally like that much. Not even more than that, that's probably a bit too much. Okay, I've just literally just got that much. And then warm it up in your hands because then it performs better. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. And then literally just push it back. Also, I probably should have used this while pushing my hair up, but it's fine. Now I'm not sure if you can see the difference of like how sleek and nice like that's made my hair look. I'm gonna do it on the fringe because I think it might be a bit better. But I'm just gonna lose the leftovers from that. So can you even like see that? I don't know if the camera's picking it up or like as soon as I put this stuff in your hair just looks really, well I don't know, really nice. I'm really like impressed with it. So I got that stuff from ASOS and it was £16 and literally I can't recommend it enough. If you like sleek hair like this or just like all the way back or whatever you like, honestly, please try that. And once you've tried it, let me know in the comments down below if you think it's good because I think that's a pretty good thing because I normally use like... So I've actually got this hair glue from got to be I've only used about once or twice because I think it's just really like sticky like it is very strong and very good don't get me wrong but this is only like four pounds whereas this one's 16 so obviously it's a bit more pricier but I think that one's way better and I also had these hair gels which were about two three pounds as well they're good for like a cheaper alternative but if you do want to venture out honestly try this it's incredible that's like one of my holy grails now thanks chloe for letting me know about that so yeah this is literally the hair done with the clipping hair extensions i literally with the th i've done the pony i done the three piece in the top of the pony like in the back of my head that small one and then I literally clipped them around and then I done the same. I put the another three on top, clipped them around and then I tipped my hair back. I put a four piece in and I just literally clipped it around and then I put my hair up and then I've literally separated my hair like literally in that ponytail and I've just clipped one of these one pieces in. I'm not even sure if it made a difference but you know, more hair looks better I guess. So yeah. That is literally look number one. Right, so I've just taken a load of time just not filming because I've been taking pictures and just been on my phone basically being very unproductive. But yeah, I like this. But at the same time, not going to lie, I do miss my taping extensions. Um, I feel like cause I've got a blunt cut. I always say this, but you can like clearly see my hair and like I don't know, like I feel like I'd need a ponytail or this, I mean this can work, I just need to curl it properly and put loads of hairspray in and then it'll be fine and just not to keep on brushing it because I have a bad habit of brushing. So I've just taken 
the hair out. My short hair again, love that. So basically, I'm going to be doing, not the same thing, but I'm gonna be doing half up, half down. So I wear this hairstyle all the time, but I'm literally just incorporating the hair extensions in to obviously make my hair look long. Section my hair off a little bit here. Try to do it there. No, I think I need to go a bit lower. So I've sectioned my hair off. Literally, there's a tiny bit of hair at the back here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to back comb. You need to back comb, obviously, so they actually like hook onto something instead of like falling through the hair. So I'm literally just gonna feel for where like the hairline is and then hope for the best basically. And then basically we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. Just take a small section of hair. And when I say small, I literally mean just enough to go over. Like that. Yeah. So I like to literally bring it round so it's like even and then I will hook it in the middle and then I will hook around the outside. And have a small bun on the head. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the ponytail thing. Literally at the right at the top or wherever you can, or wherever you want it even. And literally just clip around the ponytail. This is what it looks like. Ideally, I would have liked to have my ponytail up higher. Struggled doing that, not gonna lie. It just needs a bit of a brush and a blend, if I'm honest. These curlers are so annoying, because sometimes it curls my hair and sometimes it doesn't. But I think the reason it's not curling very well is because Obviously these extensions are fresh out the pack, so they're quite slippery, if that makes sense. Because I feel after you wash them, like with my tapes, when I wash them they start to feel like properly, like my own hair and like blends better. I thought that was a better curl. Maybe not, it does, it does curl. <laughs> You've got just got to be really patient and just take quite small sections. That's a good curl. Can you see that? I feel like because I don't have the whole all the hair extensions in it, it's making the hair look a bit gappy. If that makes any sense. Like there needs to be more hair, otherwise it just doesn't look right. But because I've still got another four piece and two piece clippings I could have clipped in, but I haven't. I always use this hairspray. It's really good. I highly recommend. Like, what does that look like? Does that look okay? I really don't know at this point. Yeah, with this stuff, I haven't added any more in and I I still feel like, even with this brush, like popping it down, like it's still slick. You don't need to add more in. It will like last you until probably next wash your hair, if I'm honest. Or, or obviously you can top it up by a little bit, but it will still like really hold in there and it will stay there. That's what I really love about it. All right, so I've decided I'm just gonna stop this video here because one, can't really think of any other hairstyles that I want to do that can like be intertwined with a hairstyle like obviously I can wear my hair down normally and just show you but I think that's a bit boring and I don't know I feel like it's a bit more straightforward but with this video I wanted just to show you like my signature hairstyles if you will like I literally always wear my hair like this now like it's been a couple of weeks now and I've literally always had this fringe and I either always have it up in a pony for work or literally half up, half down, just for like filming and stuff. So I'm just gonna keep these hairstyles to a minimum. But if you do wanna see anything more specific, comment like the hairstyles down below, and then I can like try and recreate them and do it my own way sort of thing. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it was a bit of a fail and I know I probably could have done a little bit better, but we're working with it but anyway i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye